Hey there, and welcome to our last uh, reflection on depression for this month of May. It's been great doing these with you, and I hope you will go back and look at some of the other videos, reflection times I've already done, let me lower this down a little bit, that I've done previously in connection to depression. And so next month we'll start a new topic, not really sure what that would be yet, but if you have any ideas, you know, let me know um, in the comment section. So we've talked about depression in connection to this difference, again, between sadness and depression. Uh, we've talked about chronic depression. We've talked about the dangers of depression. And we've talked about God's answers to depression. And, and I want to make this last one a, a very upbeat one. And so I want to talk about habits and healing in connection to depression. You know, when you're depressed, it's a signal that something else is going on within you. Maybe there's an emotion or a fear that's gone unmet or you need to talk about your emotion and talk about how you feel to somebody else even if they might not understand sometimes we just have to make that effort to actually talk to someone you know when you're in the midst of depression you can pray for somebody else you know nothing helps better to take your mind off of your issues or your challenges than to be uh, aware of what other people are going through and so those kind of things can help read the bible what a concept huh Reading the Bible, find out what God talks about in the Bible. Talk about, see what the scriptures say about all kinds of things. You can just meet with people. You can hang out with people. And I know that depression, having gone through it myself, you don't have a lot of energy to do things. But I would encourage you, as I often encourage myself, like Donald Lawrence says, sometimes you got to encourage yourself to really push past the point of not wanting to do something. Because once you do, you feel so much better life seems so much easier and you are so much happier and so in the midst of the depression the way to counteract that is to not give into it as much understand that sadness is going to happen emotion is going to happen and sometimes we may even need to go to a doctor to get medication and there's nothing wrong with that too often in my culture in particular african-american culture we're told that all we need is jesus well the way i see it god created therapists, counselors, psychiatrists, and doctors. And sometimes we need the aid of medication to help us through those moments. As I shared earlier, earlier on, I was on Wellbutrin for a couple of years just to get me over a hump that I was going through, which was an unmet expectation. So I want to leave you with a scripture to read in your time. And this is from the uh, Psalmist David. As always, he talks, and this is Psalm 30. It says, I would, will extol you, O Lord, for you have drawn me up and did not let my foes rejoice over me. O Lord, my God, I cried out to you for help, and you have healed me. O Lord, you brought me up, my soul up from skill, restored me to life from among those gone down to the pit. Sing praises to the Lord, O you who are faithful to God, and give thanks to God's holy name. But God's anger is not but for a moment. God's favor is for a lifetime. As they say, we've been may endure for the night, but joy comes in the morning. One of my favorite scriptures. As for me, I say to my prosperity, I shall never be moved. By your favor, O Lord, you had established me as a strong mountain. You hid my face. I was dismayed. To you, O Lord, I cried, and to the Lord I made supplication. What profit is there in my death if I go down to the pit? Will the dust praise you? Will it tell of your faithfulness? Hear, O Lord, and be gracious to me. O Lord, be my helper. You have turned my mourning into dancing. You have taken off my sackcloth and clothed me with joy, so that my soul may praise you and not be silent. O Lord, my God, I will give thanks to you forever. In the midst of our depression, we are not alone. And throughout scriptures, we find examples of people who have been where we are and feeling sad and depressed. And like them, we too can find joy in the morning because the, every time we wake up in the morning, take another breath, there's another chance to do something different and to receive God's grace and mercy anew. Thank you for hanging with me on the journey uh, this month in connection to depression. I hope you would join me next week as we begin a new series, a new topic for the month of June. Take care. Bye-bye.